ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا ينتج له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله شهاده تنجينا من عذاب النار ويدخلنا الجنه من غير سابقه عذاب ولا عقاب واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه اشهد انه قد بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه ومحى الغمه وجاهد في الله حق الجهاد حتى اتاه اليقين فصلاه وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اولم نعمركم ما يتذكر من تذكر وجاءكم النذير وعن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لرجل وهو يعظه اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس شبابك قبل هرمك وصحتك قبل سقمك وغناك قبل فقرك وفراغك قبل شغلك وحياتك قبل موتك او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام اما بعد او بريس تو الله او بريس تو الله ذا وان ذا اونلي ذا وان هو شوب بي ورشب اي بير ويتنس ذات هي از ذا كرييتر اوف ذيس يونيفرس اند هي از ذا وان هو شوب بي ورشب اي بير ويتنس ذات محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم از از مسج ترو ميرسي سنت تو اس اف يو فولو ات باك ان شاء الله ويل بي ان جنه اما بعد وان دي The angel of death came to Sayyidina Nuh and he asked him a question. Oh, messenger of Allah, you lived more than a thousand years. What did you see the world? He said, the world is like a house. You come from a door and you leave from the other one. This is the world, world. World around us, time goes quickly. Where is last week? Where is next last month? Where is last year? I ask everyone, how old are you? And you tell me 30, 40, 50, 60. What did you have? What happened in the last 60 years? Do you remember any of it? Do you see any of it? And Fudai one day looked at the man and he said, How old are you? He said, I'm 60. I said, You have been walking. Towards Allah for 60 years? For 60 years you're walking towards Allah? Soon you'll reach. Time is very valuable. Time is very valuable. The hadith I narrated, I'll take part of it. I'm not asking to talk about the hadith today. I will take it apart. Tell him what? Five things quick. What do you mean by quickly? If you ask yourself, how I can be quick in anything? Always be on the top of things. Don't let time. We have a saying even here in Canada that says kill time. Especially the youth, you say, I want to kill some time. And here even we say back home, الوقتك السيف إن لم تقطعه قطعك. Time is like a sword. If it does, if you don't use it, it will kill you. I know that I disagree by the way. Time is not like a sword. Time is your life. Time is your life. The last second gone, can I return it? Can I return the watch back? Can I go back for maybe 10 years? Can I do that? Can we go back one minute? We're always going forward. Then really, what should we do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran swore by wal wal fajr, wal layl, all time. Subhanallah, to show us the importance of time. The importance how to use time. Time go, comes and goes, and every day you wake up and you sleep. Every day. And you ask yourself, what did you do? If I ask you what did you do yesterday, the day before, last week, what did you do? What happens in your life? What can you what's your answer? What's your answer? How can you answer that? How can you answer that? Subhanallah, every one of us is aiming. When I reach 80, sorry, when I reach 60, I'll go around the world in a cruise trip. And I will enjoy. And I will see my grandkids. Do you have a guarantee about it? Do you see, do you have a, 
a check, a rain check from Allah saying that you lived 60. From three days ago, I was in Isna and I prayed to someone who's 21. Allah, I was shocked when I heard, even though I prayed with different kids, but 21? And really, it surprised me sometimes. Sometimes some that surprised me because, what? Why? I have, okay, I'm expectation. Amaru ummati bayna sittin wa sabayin means the Prophet said, uh, the ages of my ummah is from 60 to 70. Does this apply on me? How can I tell? My grandfather lived to 80. Okay, does this guarantee that I live to 80? Does this guarantee I live uh, until to, to reach out, get out of this mosque? There is no guarantee of anything. Time is valuable that what do you gonna do next? We used to kill time in a way that very bad. And Imam al-Shafi'i died. He was how old? 54. If you read about Imam al-Shafi'i, you know, I love this man, Allah. If you read about him, you will be surprised. He didn't start going to Allah. Like, he memorized the Quran when he was seven. But when he started reading the religion, he was 20. He started, he lived until 54. The followers of Shafi'i Mazhab, how big? What did he do? Imam Abu Hanifa one day was asked, in how many days do you finish the Quran? And he looked at the man and he said, in the day or in the night? And the man, okay, meaning the night is tall. That's the time of day. In the day. He said, in prayer or outside prayer? <laughs> and he said, what? I just read my part in maybe 15 minutes. Alhamdulillah, I'm done. I, I put the mushaf away. Alhamdulillah. When you read this, how can he do that? Will he can find time? Because he's planning time. He used time. We used to kill time. You kill time by? I'll tell you some parts which kills time. Allah is Satan, I believe. He, if he thought about it, he couldn't have thought about it. Well, the first thing is the TV. It's killing time. You sit in front of anything two or three hours. And if you remind yourself, come and pray. Okay, let me find uh, an uh, advertising time and uh, go and pray and come back. Advertising time is four minutes. Let's get four minutes and come back. Quickly, finish. Sometimes we do that. Killing time. The importance of whatever you're watching is more important sometimes than the prayer itself. <coughs> Our youth, come on, my son, let's pray. I have to finish killing my friends in Fortnite or Call of Duty. I have to, I'm sorry, I cannot. Give me five minutes more. I have this at home. Oh, daddy, please give me five minutes. The five minutes are done. Oh, my, one more minute. I have extra life. I have to use it. My son, I don't have an extra life. I wish. Come and pray. Or I'll, end, I'll cancel the internet. I'll remove the internet cord. Come now. And he comes really with an anger voice and anger look. You feel, made me fail. I, 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 I lost my life. And okay, I wish I have an extra life. I wish. Doesn't work that way. Life doesn't come and go. Time that I wish that I have an extra life to correct what I have done in the previous life. And the Prophet was asked once, if you have no, no, known of knowledge of what's coming, what should I choose? He, he said, I'll choose whatever I have now. Whatever I'm doing now. Prepare yourself to use time. Time flies very quickly. One day, Harun al-Rashid ruled for 50 years of his life. Ruled the world until he looked at the, that sky where is a cloud. He looked at the cloud and said, rain anywhere. The taxes will come to me. Rain anywhere. Imagine, this is a king that he ruled the world at that time. But when his time comes, he asked his soldiers, bring me the army. He brought the army in front of his castle. And he was raising up. Raise me, come on, show me the army. He looked at the army and he cried and he said, Ya man la yazul mulku, irham man zala mulku. Oh Allah, oh Allah, your kingdom is not, will never end. Please forgive whoever his king, his kingdom will go. He will leave his kingdom. Harun is dead. 
Do you think you, you will stay forever? Do you think this phone will stay forever? Your kids will get it. Then really, you should be ready. Prepare yourself to do better <coughs> in that. That's how Harun was doing. Then how can I work on that time? You need to plan. We need to plan, we plan everything in our lives. We plan to get how many kids? We plan how, uh, to get how, what's the kind of car we do? We plan where you're going to live? We plan. But subhanAllah, when it comes to Akhirah, which is the permanent residence, we don't plan anything. We don't. Ask yourself, really are you planning? Really are you doing your best? Are you really doing as much as you should be doing? Is there any time wasted? If there is one second was wasted, you will be questioned. Why did you waste? Imagine with me, you give your son hundred dollars. End of day, you bring your son, come. What did you do with this hundred dollars? Oh, I bought food with them and I did this. And this the remaining hundred ten dollars, what happened? Imagine, oh, I was having ten dollars, I threw one in the sea, the Rolik uh, Ontario, and the other one in the sea, and the other one on the ground. And you know, my father, I'm having fun. I threw one in the air. What do you think you would be with? What do you think you're going to do with? Are you, you start punishing your son. How did you do that? How do you throw one dollar in Lake Ontario? How do you do that? You're no, throwing your one dollar? I wish. The one dollar you can get it back. You're, you're throwing your hours, your years, your time, your life. You ask yourself, what did you do? The Prophet ﷺ stayed in 23 years, for just 23 years. 23 years of his life. Now how many Muslims are following? Let's say the Prophet is a messenger. Allah gave him the powers. Okay? I, I say, okay, no problem. How about the Sahaba? How about the Sahaba? They distributed the Islam everywhere in the world. Subhanallah, does this apply on us? Yes. Every one of us here is not from here. When I once met someone by, uh, I'm working and he said, you know, I'm Canadian and I am him, okay, from where you are originally? Oh, my father was here, from your grandfather, from where? Oh, he said from somewhere else. Oh, really? Then you are not from here. Everyone is from somewhere else. Every one of us is coming from somewhere else. Then really, look, where are you going next? You're going to a place that someone, one day, someone loves dunya. And the alim said, I want to go to the place that everyone goes to. Everyone is happy to go to. And the alim said, yeah, come, come, follow me. Said, okay, follow me. He took him to the graveyard. I said, oh man, I'm asking for the place that everyone goes to. And the alim said, yes, this is the place everyone goes to. There I see everyone coming from there to here. I haven't seen anyone going from there to here, there. From here to there. Then really you have to plan. Plan, where are you going next? SubhanAllah, time goes quickly. Your good deeds are staying. You'll be questioned in every deed you do. Everything you do. When you have your son or daughter, you tell them, I wish you are a doctor. I wish you are an engineer. I wish you are a dentist. You wish. Okay, do you leave your wish and sleep on it? No, you plan it. What do you plan? I want you to go to health science or life science. And then you apply in this university so that you can go to that one, write your set, write your whatever. Planning. You have to do good in math or good in science. Do you wish and sleep on it? No, no, not sleep on it. But the final destination, and there's a movie called Final Destination. What happened? You plan. You plan to when you meet Allah, He will be happy with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he looks at you, did you do it? Did you take care of me as I took care of you? Allah took care of us? Yes. He's taking care of you. And this is another khutbah, inshallah. Taking care of us everywhere. Some parts of it is coming to Canada here. Making a safe to all of us. Every one of you, like I said, coming from a part of the world. 
And subhanAllah, we are brothers here. I left my cousins back home. You're my cousin. I left my brother somewhere. You're my brother. I left my sister somewhere. You're, she's my sister. Are we working like that? Are we working as one unit? That's the question to everyone. Work on that. Use time right. إن الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهزئ ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ما بعد. الرافض عليه الصلاة والسلام said again always like extensions. Come on, I need another life. Allah sometimes I I dream that okay if I have another life, what can I do? What can I do in the next life? What can we do in the next? If I have a chance to come back in the next life, what can you do? Someone would say, okay, I want to correct what I'm missing. I want to do this. I want to do that. But Allah is the more knowledge about us. He's the creator. He is the creator and he knows what should we think about. Look at this ayah. Spend before death comes to any of us. فيقول ربي لولا أخرتني أو الله make me stay a little bit longer another chance why to pray to fast to do extra hajj no maybe to get to do something no what أخرتني إلى أجل قريب فأصدق وأكون من الصالحين two things two things and he started with the first one لأصدق to give. To give. Why is giving is more important? Because you give your money and you don't know what happened. You give it out, someone else will take care of it. Our mother Aisha, when she sees someone asking for money, she told she doesn't thank you for holding my money to the eye after. I don't I don't want to know. No. I give the money definitely in a, in a specific resource. Again, you don't throw your money in the lake of Jerry. You, you make sure that sent in the spent in the right approach. You'll be questioned on that. But you give it to someone. Now we have here Dar Quran. We have kids here more than 60 or 70 youth. I like always to say youth because you don't have kids in Islam. We have always youth. Why I'm saying that? Abdullah ibn Abbas was nine years old and he memorized the Quran and his Habra Hayyin Ummah. Usabab is 17 years old and he leads an army of 30,000. We don't have kids, we have youth, we're building men and women to lead. Because they are leading, I have to go one day. It's not options. I'm more than 25, and everyone here I can see more than 25, like me. But the youth here are coming. And we need khutaba, we need leaders, we need someone to lead the community. They are, they are the ones to do that. Then what should we do? We should invest in them, give money to them so, not give money to them. Give money to programs to support them. Give money to make sure that they are in a safe haven. I don't have kids. Someone will come and say, I don't have kids. I'm a, I'm a 21, 22, 23. I don't have kids. I don't have anything. Why should I give? Because you need a second life. You need to see in your book another... Imagine, you give money and someone memorizes the Quran. Every time he recites the Quran, Hasanat is coming to you. And you hear after you get your book. Okay, this is your book. You open it. Oh man, I did so many bad things. Oh man, okay. You did this, you did that. You close the book and you're done. What can I do? La hawla la quwwata illa billah. And Allah will question. Is there anything he has more? Did he do anything extra? And, 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 and now the extras come. Yes, he did extra. Okay, I paid ten, twenty dollars, but the twenty dollars are here in this book. Your book has to have $20 you spent. But no, no, the extra is not the $20. The extra, what did the $20 do? The $20 makes someone memorize the Quran, makes someone build a place for worship, makes someone go to help someone in the hospital. Everything he does is added to your hasanat. Everything he does gives you more hasanat. You didn't do anything. I paid $20. That's it, I'm done. Alhamdulillah, ten dollars, one dollar, whatever I can. What did this twenty dollars do? Oh, someone did that with it. Oh, you got some chairs, the masjid. You 
take care of something. Subhanallah, it adds up at the end. It's like a tree. You put the seed, and really you don't know anything about the seed. What happened? But anyone, everyone, get the fruit out of this seed, you will be added to it. You'll get a plate. The hadith said, a plate from light comes to you and make sure that you get it. And he said, this is a plate. What else can you do? Waladun Salih, imagine now with me the plates again. This is a gift from your son to you. Or your daughter to you. Walad Salih doesn't mean a boy. A boy or girl. Walad Salih, if your father or mother died or even alive, pray for them. They are the most needed ones. And always I remind everyone for the hadith, Allahumma ghfir li wa li walidayya wa li ashabi huq alayya. Oh Allah, forgive me and forgive my parents. They are the most needed ones. And everyone, I owe him something. Allahumma ghfir li wa li walidayya wa li ashabi huq alayya. Everyone, I offend anyone. Imagine you're driving your car and you cut someone. This is an offense. Even though no ticket, but in the hereafter, you will see it in your book. You cut someone. How many say that? A lot. But you cut someone, you made him angry. You feel sorry. What should I do? I made a dua to him. Oh Allah, forgive me. Forgive my parents and anyone who I offended. Allah will put hasanat in your... I always say it's an insurance. I gave a khutbah before. I it's an insurance in your place. We like here insurances in Canada. It's an insurance for you. And lastly, this is the... Knowledge that we pass to our kids and everyone. Try to work on support. Try to make sure that you don't leave this world without leaving an, an extra life for you, an extension. The extension is whatever you give, and it will you will be accounted after you go. That's the extension. Remember that part. Our life is short. Our life is short. I'll finish with that. One of the people of Sayyidina Nuh was asked, if you know that there is an ummah who lives 60 years, what you will do? And she said, I'll put my mask beside my grave because time is very short. Because at that time, they lived more than four, 500 years, 600 years, 700 years. We are live how long? The oldest one of us, 100. Guinness Book said 112 years. This is the Guinness Book. Then really, if I'm more than 25, I'm getting shorter soon to leave. Then really prepare yourself. Have used the time wisely. Make sure that when you leave, you will be remembered. Even if you are not remembered, I don't care. I only need one only to remember. Who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make us from the people who hear and respect. Allahumma gfir lana dhunubana. Allahumma gfir lana dhunubana. Wa israfana fi amina. Wa tawfana salihin. اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولاصحاب حقوق علينا اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وموتى المسلمين اللهم اجعل اخر كلمنا لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله اللهم لا تقبلنا الا وانت راضي عنا رب العالمين اللهم ارض عنا رب العالمين واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين واقم الصلاه